Hello there. Hello, hello. Howdy. I'm Kayla. I'm Kaylee. I'm Cody. And you are watching Roswell Recap Umbrella Academy Edition. Woo! Woo! to do this episode because man do I have lots to say oh about Umbrella Academy. Don't we all? There's Damn. so much. <laughs> yeah, seriously though. There's so <sighs> much goodness and evilness uh -huh. and just encompassingness of the whole world. Mm -hmm. Or lack thereof a world. Or lack thereof. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's in shambles. It is. Shall we just go right in? Oh let's go in. So, overall, how are we feeling about this 10-episode arc here that we got with Umbrella Academy? Well, I did not read the comics, but I really enjoyed it. It, it was a lot of fun for me. It was predictable, so that was kind of my biggest hang-up with everything was, like, I felt like they held your hand a lot throughout the season, especially when it came to Vanya. Like, to me, if they just would have, like, really kind of, like, kept that hidden and stuff, like, it just, I would have had way more wow factor with her, but it was just so predictable, and even, like, like, I just, I don't know, it's just like, oh, that's exactly what I said in the pilot review, like, she basically becomes the phoenix, like, an X-Men, and, mm -hmm. like, is, like, taking out everybody, <laughs> you know, yeah. like, um, I just wish they would have done more with that, or, like, less, that, less, yeah, that's when, yeah, that's really what it should have been, like, pulled that in, and, like, made it just be more of a shock. Yeah. As yeah. all the her brothers and sisters had. Right. You know, especially Allison. Like, I would have loved to have felt that same thing. Yeah. Maybe had, like, little clues, but not blatant clues. And probably not, like, episode one. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yes. even episode one, they're laying the foundation yes. for something that doesn't happen until, like, the second to last episode, mm -hmm. yes, basically. Yes, exactly. And, like, Leonard... He was, like, already really weird. Like, they should have, like, toned that down just a little bit in the beginning. Like, you can show some, like, weird kind of turns where you're like, oh, that was interesting. But, yeah. like, not blatant. Like, right away I was like, this guy's a weirdo. Yeah, they never, you really never got that, like, let's make you like him first and yes. then show yes. you he's weird. No, it he was, was just, just like, weird. Yeah, he yeah. was weird from the beginning. He had some sort of weaselly little face. <laughs> yep, like, straight up. I mean, great casting. For sure. But also oh, he did a great job, but, very... Yeah obvious yeah i feel like they did they tried to a little bit in the first episode that he's in of like he kind of has like the little like shy awkwardness to him but then in the very next episode he's immediately just kind of like got like this yes. sliminess totally. to him yeah. it's totally. a very it's a very sudden shift from episode two to three of his behavior yeah and again just with the casting like that actor is everything else i've seen him in and he kind of plays like a weaselly type of guy what about yeah. your overall? Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, it's I had some like minor, not even issues, just kind of like little hang-ups here and there, which upon thinking about and reading some of the like post-mortem interviews with the showrunner and stuff, I've kind of uh, changed a little bit. But yeah, I thought it was really good. I agree that it did kind of follow a set structure. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't bother me as much because I felt like what the show was doing in that story and just kind of overall was taking a a somewhat pre predictable well-known story but then really diving into like how it would affect these characters yes. because yes. In, in the nature of most comic books like x-men and stuff you mm -hmm. have these big stories but because they have to move so quick you get just very broad character yes. strokes and it's all yeah. about the plot whereas this is like okay what if we had this story but in these types of characters but the the plot and then like the superhero-ness of it all is mm -hmm. almost secondhand and it's a lot more about like who they are which to me is very people. Watchmen mm -hmm. too because Watchmen was totally that it's like you have all of this stuff going on but it was more focused on like who these people were as human beings on this world yeah. and the life that they had chosen and how that changed over the years and their dynamics and yeah. so I really enjoyed that with yeah. the show as well yeah I had some of the same thoughts about Vanya as well it's something that would probably be easier to, to go into when we're talking about each character but yeah yeah I, I i know exactly what you mean there was a bit of a little too much reliance at times on kind of uh foreshadowing 
not even that, more not show don't tell, but like oh. telling instead yes. of yes. showing. Yes. They mm-hmm. they very much kind Where's of Where's like, my medicine? I yeah. need my medicine. Yeah. Like she said driving that yeah. in all the time. Yes. Like we get it. You need your medicine yeah. because if not, your powers go wonky. Like I got that right away. Yeah. Right. It's so. overall it's it's nothing that I that really I disliked or turned me off against it. It's more it just mm-hmm. kind of felt like a little bit of first season jitters of kind yes, of like it's yes. such such a strange mm-hmm. concept in such it is it's kind of like trying to understand your demographic and it's like how yeah. much should we tell them because this is new we want to get them into it so then yeah. maybe by season two yeah they'll make it even more a little bit beyond our <laughs> mental yeah. capacity and like blow our mind yeah, yeah no real complaints more just kind of like all the pieces are there mm-hmm. it's just them like any show try finding itself figuring out what works Mm -hmm. and especially in a Netflix season where the whole season is completed and released before there can be any reaction you're kind of just you're not getting that feedback so you're kind of just like figuring it out as you go Uh along yeah Yeah. well and especially like you said with it being this kind of different thing people think superheroes and they think they're walking into one thing yeah they're obviously walking into something very different and I definitely can see that there's a reason to make it accessible to just anybody that wants to turn it on that hey this is fine you can follow it etc so i think there's definitely something to be said for as much as we might want those twists and we right. might want less hand holding there are people that do want that right and you know maybe at least starting like we said this is probably a good way to go yeah definitely yeah. what about you miss comic book girl <sighs> yeah so I basically have to say, first and foremost, after watching even episode two, I kind of said to myself, I have to throw the comic book out the window. I was just like, if I'm going to enjoy this because I was enjoying it, I had to stop comparing it because there are so many differences or like, even just like the timeline, like the way things happen is just so different like it's the same but it's different like it's real it's hard to explain without having seen or read them but they definitely they kind of go hand in hand but it's really just apocalypse suite but then dallas is in there and so then that's kind of like then what are you going to do in season two like i I i've had all these just like swirling twirling thoughts and basically i said i want to sit and enjoy this show because it's really fun it's really good so i kind of just had to let it go Kind of more of like a remix yeah. than an adaptation. Yes. Um, now, we've talked about you know maybe doing a video where we really dissect those differences mm-hmm. another time. Yeah. But for this, I'm going to, for the most part, stick with... TV show. Stick with the TV show. I had a lot of fun with the show, a lot of fun with the characters. Um, yeah, I mean, there really wasn't any part where I felt was slow, where I felt was dragging. Like, it pushed forward... And, you know, I think it went to a really satisfying end. The the arc of the plot, Mm -hmm. it really felt satisfying. Mm -hmm. But also wanting more. Like, they answered questions, but then they kind of answered them so that you would have more questions. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it just was really put together, I think, in a really... For a story that is not super linear, it was still told in a very cohesive, (laughs) makes sense way. And when you're dealing with time travel... You're dealing with problems. Yeah. Well, and that's what I love. They really touched on certain things about time travel that I'm a Doctor Who nerd or whatever. And they always talk about that. That like there's like certain specific moments in time that like these events have to happen. There was yes. like an episode about Pompeii. Yep. And the doctor was like, I'm sorry, like this has to happen for all of these other things to happen. And that was really hard for his companion to really cope with. And mm. she really struggled with that because she knew like millions of people were going to die in a very horrific way um and so i love that they like really were like ramming that in like the woman was like i'm sorry like we were managers of time and like certain things have to happen like get over and of course five is like screw you bitch (laughs) like that ain't happening and and it it did happen but of course he did his own thing and now we'll see kind of how that all plays out it's kind of yeah it seems like it's kind of the whole purpose of the is it the commission the commission commission is just kind of like trying to tie up any loose ends that come up uh the time police yeah essentially it reminded me a bit of uh 
of looper as well yes, in terms of like getting exactly. those loose ends yes, and yes. very much so yes. and to, to your point about it not seeming too slow i agree it's almost the exact opposite of like at times it almost moved a bit too fast where it's like i'd said i'm just like whoa slow down yeah to the point where um like this is something we can get into more in the character details but with um uh, with number five like he is so ingrained in the main plot that in the second half there's certain times where his whole every scene with him is solely like plot related yes. just for the nature of like everything yeah. moving so fast so yeah it's it's certainly never dull or anything it's yeah. almost the opposite of like whoa you kind of want to slow down sometimes and really get into the the lives mm-hmm. of these people because mm-hmm. everything's just barreling forward yep Banya in her violin form, well, kind of, you know, in her badass suit walking out. Yes, the white violin. She's got her concert to do, and she's, she's like, I'm super cool and feeling my oats right now. She's performing the apocalypse suite. <sighs> Indeed. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's doing a good job. And mm-hmm. then, yeah, it's essentially, it's finally like, after all <laughs> this turmoil, the family, the siblings finally like come together yes, they do. and work together <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> in that moment they finally like realize like after all these years and what we've seen at the beginning of them just constantly running away from each other they yeah. realize like oh no we need each other yep. all of us together yep. if we're gonna get anything done and it was nice to see them all together too because like we hadn't really seen a lot of like all of them fighting like besides when they're little or like the one instance with like cha-cha you know stuff like that like in hazel this was really cool to see them like literally all together Mm -hmm. and really seeing how they were kind of trained and how they were used to fighting with each other yeah Mm -hmm. you know yeah it was so sweet when they had the little shot of them as kids again yeah yeah Yeah. well so you're talking about the very very end yes yes like right before they go so i really liked that but i was also like are they I couldn't tell if it was just like a oh this is a flashback look it's us like we're kids again or is it like are they actually kids again I yeah. kind of think they are because when five traveled through time the last time he was a kid yeah, yeah. so then I'm like are you What's I don't know to him yeah. yeah so I'm like but then I'm like are they really like not gonna have like the same actors are yeah. gonna have right. kids I'm like I find that highly unlikely I, I <laughs> feel like it could work either way I could see a way of it's like the next season opens with them as like kids and then maybe we just kind of have like a montage of them like growing older growing up yeah. again that'd be sweet that would be so sweet well, but, especially because like now that they have Vanya in the mix so yeah. it's like now we're here like we're gonna try to control this and like teach her how to use this and embrace her and actually be siblings to her because mm-hmm. we've all been assholes to her for like her entire life so yeah. and then obviously sh- she's probably not gonna have that at first She's probably going to be like, you guys are jerks. Like, I don't want to have anything to do with you. You know, kind of a thing at first. And then, they'll, obviously, we'll have some meshing. Yeah. And then we're going to probably have some people come into the mix that's just going to, like, throw things and explode things. And yeah. I, yeah. Could, I could also, in, on the other hand, I could also see it as more of, like, a symbolic thing of just, yes. like... No, they're not actually this, but it's just kind of showing, like, oh, look how far they've come. Yeah. This is, like, the, they're being portrayed as, like, the last time they're all together. Because they did oh, a couple stylistic yeah. things like that, especially with Vanya in the last episode of, like, true. her that's only, true. like, her squad is just yes. herself, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's a, it yeah. really could go either way. Because yeah. right. at first, I was just like, oh, but then, like, I thought about it more, and I was like, oh, crap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are they de-aging? <laughs> yeah. Like, cause, just because that is a thing that has happened already. You're right. But then I'm like, but then wouldn't five need to de-age more? Yeah, that, that yeah. would be the only hiccup um, with that thought. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'd be uh, happy with either. But, yeah, yeah, I could very easily see, like, season two opening with them as kids and then doing, like, a like them and their music how yeah, the yeah. show uses music With, so well, I, could nah, s- nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. I want that song so bad yeah i could see them using like a good song montage of them just kind of like essentially growing up again and getting a second chance at like yeah. growing up at this time like as a full unit and as a family yeah, yeah. as like truly treating each mm-hmm. other like siblings yeah. and everything yeah yeah i'd be so all about that yeah oh my gosh so yeah we can kind of transition then to like what do you want to see in a potential season two there's no word from netflix yet on what but i mean it seems like there's a lot of buzz about it so yeah 
Oh, I hope so. Yeah, Netflix is kind of like a little stricter lately on what they renew, but yeah. I mean, they're still pretty generous of, mm-hmm. if there's enough of a following, which this one has kind of a yeah. built-in audience. So. I yeah. think so, too. I think there's so much, there's been so much stuff on social media. And I think this and... is going to be another like word of mouth thing. Yeah. So. And it got, well, I feel like from, I didn't read every review, but a lot of them were really positive. They were, yeah, they were yeah. mostly positive. So, I mean, between all that, I feel like. I feel good about it. I yeah. hope so. I'd be really upset. Yeah. <laughs> what would you want to see? I want to see in a season two. Oh man. Well, I mean, I want to see the rest of Dallas. Mm-hmm. We saw at least at least half, if not more, of Dallas has already been done. But I'd like to see the rest of it just because it's super interesting. Um, but I just don't know how that plays into what just happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it was different and with them, like, going who knows where. Right. Um, yeah. I just don't know if this will work yet. Maybe we'll have to come back and do this another time. Um, and that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, my big thing is I'd like, I, I would agree that there's probably going to be a lot of pushback from Vanya. It might be kind of like Vanya and Allison against mm-hmm. the boys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, all the, with the exception of Luther, all the boys were on Vanya's side. Yeah. So maybe it's going to be yeah. everyone versus Luther. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, but I definitely see there being a lot of sibling fighting yep. and all that. Yep. But my, my hope is that, you know, the end goal for second season would be to bring them as a family. Yeah. Yeah. That it's going to be that kind of like, we're trying to work it out, trying to work it out. And by the end... They have those bonds. Now, maybe they get ripped away right. because of something else, and then they have to go save each other or right, whatever. Right, right. But to get, I would love to have that foundation within all seven of them, including yeah. Ben. Yeah. To have that family connection. Kind, right. Yeah. So, kind of like if the theme or kind of like emotional arc of season one is like getting these siblings back together. Season two, I feel like it would be cool to see, like, okay, they're back together. Now they need to learn how to, like, be a family again. Yes. So it's like, yes, getting together, was, in retrospect, getting together back together was the easy part. Now they need to learn how to, like, actually... And stay together. Yeah. yeah. Like, and live, not drive each other crazy. Live together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's something I said before of, like, wanting a focus on each character. But, yeah, I feel like now that we know them, they can slow down a bit and just kind of... I would like to see maybe just uh i don't know like one episode that's just kind of centered on one location or one specific character of just um you you want to do right by all the actors and give everybody like a little something to do in each episode but i feel like it would be beneficial and interesting the storytelling of just like okay maybe this episode the whole cast isn't in there and it just kind of like furthers this one person either through a flashback or or whatever i i would really like to see more of that yeah, I'd love to dig deep into somebody. I'd love to find out more about Ben. Uh-huh. Ben's probably the one that I'm just like mystery man. Yeah, mm-hmm. and just like let's get a little more. Like we got a, I mean, we got a lot this season. I mm-hmm. feel like, but I'd love to see more. Figure out some more things about Ben. Um, and I'd like to know more about uh Hargreaves. Yes. Yeah. You know, let's like find out where he's from. Let's find out yep. a, a lead. Let's find out something. You know, if they're in another dimension, it is possible that that dimension, Hargreaves, is alive. It's true. Yeah, depending on where they went. So, yeah, I don't, don't know. know where they are they went. going? But yeah, did they go back in time, or are they in a different dimension? Like we don't know. Well, even in a different time, like depending on since right. he's an alien, you right. know, like well, who obviously, the fuck knows? so we saw him. You know, what year do you think it was that he went there? Oh, yeah, that was like late 1800s. Yeah, or something. so he yeah. had obviously been living for a long, long time right. before the kids were born. Right. Mm-hmm. So they could definitely go to a hundred years in the past yep. and go find him. Yep. And, you know. Maybe they're the ones that warn him about the apocalypse. Maybe they are. They could be. They could. Yeah. Close the loop. Yep. <laughs> Who knows? Yep. But yeah, like, yeah, that's an example. That would be something I'd be interested in seeing is just one episode that the whole entire thing is just like a Hargreaves flashback. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. maybe put the, sweet. put the siblings in mm-hmm. at like the very beginning, but then just the yeah. entirety is just a flashback. Yeah. That's the yeah. type of stuff I'd be interested in. That'd be in. great. But especially, it's a sort of thing like, those sort of things are great, mm-hmm. but then how do the kids get this information? 
This They're is not true. kids. Yeah. I, I just keep calling them kids. Yeah. yeah. But because all those type of things are so good, but depending on what it is, like, you know, they don't know what we've seen. Yeah. We've seen so many things, and that scene with Hargreaves on his planet right. or whatever, like, they don't know that. So it's kind of like maybe they do find, like, another journal of his, mm-hmm. and they read it, and we can watch it, and it's yeah. Yeah. on my own planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or not even just him. Maybe, like, you were saying and seeing more of him, like, oh, just a full Ben episode of, like, what happened the yeah. day that Ben died yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yep. yeah they've got room because they have, um, uh, Leonard's no longer on it, and if it looks like a cl- Hazel and Chasha might not be back, so there's more space yeah. open to like have Ben as like a main well, cast member. Number five doesn't know what happened to Ben. No. So that could be just a casual conversation that he has True. with one of the siblings. I mean, they, they'll probably do it cooler than that, but at least like there could be a reason for that storyline to play out. Yeah. Since he yeah. wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, especially now that Ben is somehow yeah. there. So that's maybe there'll be a way for Ben to talk through mm-hmm. Klaus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like that would make sense. For sure. And then maybe he can, they can say, like, maybe maybe the whole thing is that they don't really know what happened. Maybe Ben just yeah. disappeared. Maybe they never found the body. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, 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 So maybe they can say, Ben, what happened? Like, because yeah. we think that the way that this happened has happened to someone else. Or yeah, yeah, we yeah. found leads to, you know, who knows. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you need to tell us, like, what happened. Mm-hmm. And he can... I was alone in my bed. I, I don't know. <laughs> the monster yeah. came out. Yes, it came out of me, and <laughs> yeah. then I became one with the monster. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what if Ben's not really dead? I mean, that's a possibility. Something. But it doesn't make sense, because why is he coming to class? That's true. Yeah. So he kind of yeah. has to be dead. True. Yeah. True. But maybe there's a way to bring him back, or know. they can, I mean, hey, they're time traveling. Yeah. Maybe yep. they can go back into the past and they can fix it so that Ben never died. But then, of course, butterfly effect. Yep. Mm-hmm. Who knows yep. what would happen? Time, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fussy. God, I just don't want. It just makes me sad. Yeah. No, especially like getting to know him like yeah. in the season. It's such yeah. a fleshy little guy. But yeah, I mean, like I said, that's the main thing I'd want to see is just them learning how to be a family again. And then I feel like, based on the little bit I know about the third arc, Hotel Oblivion, I feel like. That could be a good way of, like, season two is all about getting them to work together again as a family, yeah. only for season three to be right. like, okay, now here's a real threat that you really need to be together yes. to yeah. face. Yes. yes. Absolutely. We love that. I just, I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Really liked a lot. Love the characters. Definitely wants me to, makes me want to read the comics. Yes. For sure. See that gorgeous art. Yes. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us for another awesome episode of Problem Recap. Yes, Umbrella Academy edition. <laughs> loving it. We've been loving it. We've been watching it. We've been reading it. And we just got too much to say. Yeah. True. So uh, this was kind of our overall take, but we're going to dive into each character. Mm-hmm. We've seen a mm-hmm. bunch of little episodes coming at you. Mm-hmm. And we're going to let you know the true analysis of the psyche of the character of the Umbrella Academy. Pretty much anything we can talk about. Yeah, yeah. we're just going to keep talking, and hopefully you guys keep watching. That's right. Um, we so, just don't shut up. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's so accurate. So accurate. Brazzle um, recap? Brazzle recap. Woohoo! Brazzle recap! <laughs>